time has arrived. It is Dragon Quest XI time. This is the latest entry in my favorite video game series of all freaking time. Yeah, for those who don't know, Dragon Quest is my favorite series of all time. It is the reason I even play video games. It is the reason I buy platforms. When new platforms comes out, if a new Dragon Quest game is coming out for it, I buy it. If I think a Dragon Quest game will come out for it, I will buy it. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for this. And also, I've been stoked for this one specifically because, long story short, Dragon Quest VIII came out in 2005. That was the first Dragon Quest game that was really sleeked up and sexified and fully 3D. And it was for the PlayStation 2 and it was absolutely gorgeous. And I loved everything about that game. And I had been waiting to get another entry in the main series, as sexy as that one was. Alas, 9 was released on the Nintendo DS. A little disappointed. We never got 10 in the United States. So, 13 years later, we finally get this game, which, for all intents and purposes, is the spiritual successor to Dragon Quest VIII. The game that I've been clamoring for for a long time. Gotten, gotten, um... A taste of it with the the Heroes series on PS4, but this is this is truly where it's at. So we have some special guests, and then I'll stop talking. But we have some special guests joining us today. We have here Drake E, Drake E, and then our good bud, who unfortunately is not blue enough apparently to get away from the green screen. But this is. Slime Shady. He's the real Slime Shady. Let's fucking do this! Alright. Let's get going. Dragon Quest XI. Let's do this. Hawkeye. Brightness. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it be. I'm just gonna leave it be. <sighs> I am a giddy little schoolgirl. What are you? Intriguing little ghost blob. our parade, quite literally. So I've never seen this before. I have no idea what's going on. Sexy voice acting going on. Spider Man! Thank you for that follow, I greatly appreciate that. Very Sugiyama mysterious theme sounding. I like it. Peekaboo! That's true, Luke Aaron. That's true. Uh oh. So a combination of this music, but also that first shot of like the uh, the monsters flapping their wings in front of the castle, very reminiscent of the Dragon Quest One remake for Game Boy Color and Super Nintendo.
So one thing I do know about this game is that it's basically a celebration of the entire series. Um, this game, I don't know if it's just in references or in storyline, but it, it, it like encompasses the entire series. So I think there will be bits and elements and pieces from every single game in the series in this game. Okay, those free freeze frames are really making me angry. This art style is fucking amazing. It looks... Oh my god, this game looks so sexy so far. We haven't even played a single minute of it. <laughs> What's up, Zactual? Oh my. Yeah, I got... We'll figure it out. Are you my new papa? Giving me the Simba treatment. It's Jade. I don't know all the characters' names, but I know that she's Jade, and like she's gonna be the hot new cosplay after this game. Several years later. What's up, BBK? Porky. <laughs> puppy! Hi, puppy. How's it going, puppy? I don't care about the girl. I want the puppy. Thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. Puppy! You didn't trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. Yeah, let's, let's look after that shit. <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Ah, hmm? uh, it's a very good question. I'm I can't say I'm an expert on all <laughs> British like dialects. Keen to lead the way. Come on. Best not keep her waiting. Oh, that's true, actual. <laughs> You're stuck with it for a little while. It's like a, a... I don't know. It is British. I just don't know the, the, the specific dialect. Alright, I'm going to take a quick moment to go through some settings and also hopefully, hopefully figure out this uh, freeze frame issue. <gasps> There's a jump! There's a jump! <laughs> I know that doesn't sound like much, but... It's, oh, POV, nice, of course, of course. Camera reset, okay. I thought there was like a fast run in this. All right, let's talk to peeps. The symbols on the side of Toll represent the spirit of the land, you know? The spirit has always watched over the people of Cobblestone. Jason uh, Fering, thank you very much for that follow. The coming of age ceremony is the way, the ways we show our gratitude for its protection. So it's time for you to head up to the Toll, I hear. Mind you, don't slip. It's a long way down. Oh, you're helpful. Oh, don't worry, Hawkeye. Would never let me fall. Yeah, we'll see about that. Ah, oh, what would you do without him, eh? Well, Hawkeye, you heard the lady. Make sure she comes to no harm. God, this looks so sexy. Alright, uh, I think blue means absolutely nothing. Her red exclamation point makes me feel like she's important. We've all been through it, you know. I've climbed all the way to the top of, to of the tour. I remember like it was yesterday. But I can't tell you what I found up there. No, that's something you'll have just have to discover for yourselves. You know, I'm not sure I've ever seen the two of you apart. And to think you're all grown up already. Is that wedding bells I hear? Hee <laughs> hee. Way, way to make it awkward, Granny. Oh, let an old woman have her fun, will you? Now, Hawkeye. You look after my lovely granddaughter, you hear? Hi. 
You know the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you off at the top of the steps, don't you? Don't keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, if you're ever in need of some advice or you're stuck for what to do, have a chat with the folks with pretty pink speech bubbles above their heads like me. Just press square and look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, use all directional to change the direction you're facing. It's a little handy trick. Trust me. All right. All right. What well, good piece of information. All right. So I guess getting lost wouldn't be a... Wouldn't be a big deal. Good luck, Hawkeye! I wish I was grown up like you. I can't wait to climb the tower. Hawkeye, see you and my dear... Je is it Gemma or Gemma? I never understood that. I'm going to say Gemma. Hawkeye, seeing you and my dear Gemma, all set for your big day, marks me proud as anything, both as mayor and as grandfather. You're not kids anymore, you know. No, you're grown up now. And that means you're going to the tour and offering your thanks. Now, it's time you were on your way. Head up to the top, give praise to the spirit of the land, then come back down and tell us how you like the view. Oh, and if you're ever unsure what to do next, try pressing triangle and select potty talk. Gemma might have some useful tips for you. Just look at you, Hawkeye, my little boy, all grown up. Now be sure you look after Gemma, you hear? To think you've been inseparable since you were tiny. And here you are, about to climb the toll together. Oh, and if you ever lose your way, just follow Sandy. That dog's got more sense than any of us. Oh, Sandy! Sandy's her name. Off you go now, dear. I know the two of you will just be, f will be just fine. And I'll make sure there's a delicious supper waiting for you when you get back. Thanks, Mama. We're following the doggy, the doggy. The path ahead will be at time. At times will be a steep one, but fear not, my children, for the spirit of the land shall watch over you. May your climb teach you how truly blessed we are to live among such beautiful surroundings. I will pray for your safe return. Is he wearing glasses? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Is that like the first time that a Dragon Quest character has ever worn- No, that's not true. Never mind. I'm talking out of my butt. Oh, dearie me. Where can that boy have gone to this time? I just hope he hasn't decided to go up the tour on his own. No, he wouldn't be that stupid, surely. Ah, oh, he'll be the death of me, that one. Okay, we got a rapscallion loose somewhere. It's not that high. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since <laughs> I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land good really life. does live on Cobblestone Tour, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a yeah, who comes up with these mischief? these traditions? Well, that happens all the time in Dragon Quest. Oh, let's send the young people off on some dangerous day, mission where they could get killed. It's tradition. Journey. Come on then, that craggy old thing won't climb its. I like her voice. I dig her voice. What is it, Sandy? What is it? What do you smell, puppy? <gasps> Slimes up here! Ah! We're gonna kill you. We're gonna kill your kin. They're coming this way. Where's my weapon. I misplaced my weapon. Not good. Alright. Um, everyone. Oh, I can't control her yet, so it's just me. Okay, cool. Alright, this means absolutely nothing to what I understand. Oh, that's fleet. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Does that mean, like, I can delay back? Oh, Sandy's attacking! Oh, good puppy! What a good dog! Ow! But does that mean I can, like, delay stuff? Like, if I'm moving my hero around to avoid the, like, the, uh... Nope, nope. I wonder if that's possible. Oh, well, thank you.
Suck it! This is neat. This is weird. <laughs> oh. It literally drops right out of the sky. That's hilarious. Crikey. I wasn't expecting that. I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, more where that came from. As long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. I need my sword. Ugh. All right, now we're ready. I'm ready to protect you. I could have swore that there was like a quick run. Unless that gets activated later. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. Blessed we are since the days of yore, let it be forevermore. Okay. <sighs> Figured something was back here. Nice. Good man, right in front of my face. Sturdy. Sturdy. Are you having trouble reading chat? Or seeing chat, spider? Yo, purple Mario, what is up? Watch Edmo C, dude. How have you been? I haven't seen you stream at all lately in the last couple months. Can I jump now? Oh, I want to jump. Uh, you see an exclamation point icon to move a little closer. The oh, can I like? What's this do? <gasps> cool. 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 All right. You're in Illinois for two months. Family stuff? Oh my god, so much brush. Can I jump down? <gasps> I can. More monsters, but I don't think they've spotted you yet. You can sneak up and try to surprise them. Alright. So, random battles and Dragon Quest are a thing of the past. Now they uh, go all around the world, and you can either avoid them or run into them as you see fit. No! No! Oh, I guess it just happens. Blighters, aren't they? <laughs> Tough little blighters. Did they change X and O from the Japanese version? I don't know. See, here's my thing about getting rid of random encounters. Is that... I don't know, I use random encounters for, for like... When you explore and whatnot, random encounters are great to level up. It's... I ran into this trouble in Dragon Quest IX and the remakes of 8 and 7 where I was avoiding too many battles and I was becoming severely under leveled so I started to get into the habit of but these are all DS games I started getting the habit of like watching the map only and completely ignoring what monsters were coming up to like imitate random encounters I don't know I feel like I still got to use them battle sparingly whenever I can Like here. I'll fight that guy. I no problem, Lucarin. Uh button confirms things. Uh X. Get him! I like having a cheerleader. <laughs> Come on. 
But is this really how you just, okay. Good puppy. What a good puppy. Oh, thank you. You spell frizz. Okay. Uh, my favorite game of all time is Dragon Warrior slash Dragon Quest 3. Oh, you are new. That's also another rule. If I encounter someone that looks new, I'll fight them on purpose. The Needler. Wait, did I... Oh, I got caught by surprise. I didn't pay attention to that. Do a little dance. Make a little love. I can kind of do the same thing, just staring at the bottom. Um, how did I miss the stairs? <laughs> What's up, Barry Bean Bunsen? I'm hoping this is a way to find treasure. Yep, what are you? Noise. Oh, okay. That's what I wanted. I'm always about exploring for uh, for treasure. Uh, yay, Walter! Thank you very much for that follow. I appreciate it. Chunk of copper ore. One thing that's going to be interesting is I don't have like a guide for this. Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm typically a guide user. Uh, just because I don't know. I, I feel the need to do things right. Even though it takes a... I know, there's different opinions on that. Hey, that's what I mean. Um, but when Dragon Quest VIII first came out, PlayStation 2, the only thing I really used the guide for was uh, the alchemy recipes. Like, I wanted to make sure that I knew what to use everything for. Because yeah, that is a big part of the game. And since the alchemy pot has been a staple of Dragon Quest games ever since, I'm worried that my equipment's gonna suffer a little bit not having a uh, anything to guide me alchemy wise but hey it's all about exploring viewing the game new experiencing the game new that's what I'm looking for cool look at all this fog uh, cool blimey soon, do you think favorite character of like of the Dragon Quest games, or of my favorite game? Because, honestly... Oh, sorry, I skipped something. Cool. Is that a gas? My Quick. god. You have to help him. Or a smoke. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. I really liked enjoying... Or I enjoyed uh, collecting the guides, too. To be fair, I haven't even checked to see if there is a guide or not. I don't know. Okay. Smog slash smoke are a uh, a monster that has not appeared in a main series game since it, they first came out in Dragon Quest II. So this is actually a big deal. This is kind of cool. <laughs> the return of smogs. Stop beating up on my puppy! Not that I really want you to beat up on me, because I clearly matter more. I am the hero. I hope that doesn't take too long for it to come out to Switch, because it hasn't even come out on Switch yet for, uh, in Japan yet. Let's cast Briz. Let's see what, let's see, uh... Let's see how s sexy the spell animation is. <laughs> I kind of want to check out the stationary camera to see if it's anything similar to Dragon Quest VIII, because I like the distances um, that were shown in those battles. I I'm sorry, Gemma. 
Gemma. I okay, came Gemma. Up here I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. Stupid kid. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. Well, welcome, Thick. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? I don't know if I could. If I could, I wouldn't. Killed. I don't want to listen to Japanese. I wouldn't. I'd rather hear English. Yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. Uh, whose eyes? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Knew you were tough, but crikey, you really have grown into quite the hero. Oh, thanks. Ah, uh, thick boy. Is that how you say it? Thick boy. <laughs> Thank you very much for that follow. I appreciate it. Uh, apparently, have you, are you familiar with anime? It's very, I mean, I feel like they're pretty consistent styles of eyes for anime. Uh, Victorious Ninja, thank you for that follow. Typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. You're not? Well, that's why. Oh, the placement. Okay, yeah, the, I guess the boy's eyes was a little weird. Just these vines to climb, and you're nearly there. Don't go losing your grip. Okay, let's... Any goodies around here? Oh my god, so much foliage! Aha, there are some goodies. God, I can't see a freaking thing. Amateur itemologist. Oh, oh. That's weird. Holy crap, what is going on? Uh, Bumbo Dingo and Captain Freckles. Thank you very much for those follows. Thank you. Alright, so that's where we came. It's gonna be interesting remembering that I can jump. <laughs> I know it sounds so silly, they're like, oh my god, I can jump. But it's for a a JRPG that's new. <laughs> That's pretty new. Can I fall? Okay. I wonder if it would be cool or annoying to be able to fall in some of these spots. Okay. So I have to go down. Is this like Quest 64? I do not know what Quest 64 is, uh, but I'm gonna probably say... Oh, that's cool. I'm going to say no. This is one of the longest running uh, JRPGs in... Well, I was going to say in Japan, but just in the world. Uh, Sanro, BR, thank you for the, that follow as well. Yeah, like this is hot stuff because like it's not like it's... Uh, a shooter or, a, or an action RPG. Like, this is just a standard RPG, so any world interactions, like jumping and climbing shit, is kind of new. It's new for this game. Here we are at last. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's different. I've never played it. Quit that sticks. Thank you for that follow. To that view. Well, we better say the prayer and get this ceremony over with, eh? Hello. What, what was that? Yes, it is a little Pino Grigio. <laughs> Rot row. Come on, you weakling, pull her up. Whoa. Unexpected. <laughs> What's up, James? 
M change on a on a on our cap. I sorry, I butchered that. Thank you for that follow. We will find out what just happened. That, that great big flash of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. Oh. Uh -huh. Ooh, Look, KFC. That's that's a around. good happening. Hmm? Oh, it stopped. Well, we can worry about that later. <laughs> She's really down to business. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Plunge to your death? No, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. I feel like that was a silly rhetorical question because the answer is pretty obvious. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth Everyone and bow your, he your heads. Lift your voices up in prayer. Sing it across all our drear. Our drear? Is that the word? Blessed are we or the world? since days of yore. Let it be so forevermore. Ten sixty six plays. Thank you for that follow. Holy crap, guys! <laughs> I appreciate the love. <laughs> no, every single or the majority of heroes in the Dragon Quest series typically get friend zoned. With one with on one exception. On and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. <laughs> It's I do. Over and now we're grown ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? <laughs> That's how you grow up here. Then I'll be it's, it's not about uh, uh, growing hair down there. It's about climbing up this mountain, almost getting killed, and seeing a view. Yep, and I appreciate that every single time. <laughs> All right, any goodies up here? Goodies, goodies. Let's jump! I want to jump! No! I have nothing to live for! I have nothing to live for! Let me jump! That is sexy, though. That is pretty damn sexy. Oh my god, I love this game so far. Ah. I guess we're going back down. Hawkeye and Gem- uh, I already screwed it up. Is it Gemma? Gemma, make their way back to the bottom of the toll. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Wait. Whoop! Jumping for joy. Hi, Bobby. Bobby, such a good job. Do, 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 do. That lightning was terrifying. Were you lot right up, all right up there? I'm ever so sorry you poor things had to go through such an awful ordeal. Eh, easy peasy. So, you did it. You've been to the top of the toll. Well, you'd better let the mayor know. Everyone will be desperate to hear how you got up on, got on up there. Oh, we got it on, that's for damn sure. Don't keep them waiting, will you? When lightning struck the tour, I must confess that I feared for your safety, but it seems that you escaped unharmed. Truly, we must give thanks to the spirit of the land who watches over all of us. Clean your glasses, dude. Shadow Hunter! Thank you for that follow. Hey, everyone loves us. Holy crap. <laughs> um. 2018 134. Thank you for that follow. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all smell good. Well, I wouldn't mind a good smelling community. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it. The spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear. How was the view from the top? I was wonderful. I 
was pretty impressive. Moo Bear, one, two, three. Thank you for that follow. Extra anime characters do kind of look cross-eyed most of the time. <laughs> The pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such Erdria. fashion. You know? Okay. So I'm going to assume that that's a reference to Erdrick from the um, from Dragon Quest 1, 2, 3. You I should play this game. The day may come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. Oh, there's more slimes coming, don't you worry. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. <laughs> now. It's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Whoa, Amber is the color of your energy. Whoa. Ah, oh, home time. I like home time. Weird unoriginal streamer. Thank you for that follow. And work guy. And Lily, 1322. Holy crap, what's going on? <laughs> What about forehead? This game is Dragon Quest XI. This is the latest entry of the Dragon Quest series, which is my favorite game series of all goddamn time. Uh, it officially comes out Tuesday, but I happen to snag an early copy. All right, so this is my hometown of Cobblestone. So the ceremony is all done. Congratulations. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten where you live and all the excitement. I, I have to admit, I totally have no idea where I live. Just follow the pa the paving stones. You'll soon find your way back. Oh, but you must be tired to you must be tired to be forgetting that. You should head home and put your feet up. Do I have a map of the town? I do. Notice to parents, the tour isn't safe for children. Please make sure they know not to play there. Well, I played and succeeded there. It's amazing when you think about it, isn't it? That Yggdrasil, the world tree, has watched over Erdria since the dawn of time. They say that the tree here has been around for so long as Yggdrasil. But the tree here- oh, that one. I don't know if that's true, but there's something special about it, right enough? Alright, where the f frig am I going? Whee! Splashy, 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 splashy. I'm looking for goodies. <laughs> Here's some goodies. Alright, so I assume this is the mayor's home. Yep. <gasps> There's something. So she still isn't a member of my party yet, so... Just lucky, I guess. Did I just run over that? Oh my god. I can wreck shit. That's fucking hilarious. That is hilarious. Can I wreck this shit? No, get me on the table. I want to wreck, wreck shit on the table. Okay. So he doesn't run indoors, it looks like. That's silly. <laughs> I'm just trashing everything. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Alright. Okay, bye! Can I jump through the window? Oh, damn it. I will admit that when you get to new towns and whatnot, it gets a little boring because it's all about exploring the new place and collecting items and whatnot, but we'll get the action rolling soon enough. Ah, oh, kick shit. I love kicking shit. But I think only the ones with markers overhead have the potential... <laughs> Jeez. I love that. <laughs> That's probably my favorite thing about this game so far. I can just absolutely wreck shit. Alright, where am I going? Oh, there's an item on that roof. Oh, Sandy, hello. 
Hello, puppy. Oh, there's an item on my roof. That's my home. Can I get up here? Kill the pumpkins! Kill the pumpkins! I do need a horse. I don't know if I'm a fan of this no running indoors thing. I know he wants to be polite and all, but... Alright, so that's my house. Pumpkins! Ah! Anything in the hanging sack? You gotta check them hanging sacks. Don't forget to respect and check out them hanging sacks. You never know. Nice. It's a nice looking town. Huzzah! Alright, let's go home. Hi, puppy. Good dog, good dog. Alright, this is bugging me. I need to I need to change the uh the brightness. Yeah, that should. That should be fine. That's not too bad, right? All right. <sighs> Suck it, pumpkins! Suck it! And a treasure chest. Man, who keeps a treasure chest and random items on the rooftop? I mean, it's one thing to, like, have a pizza thrown up there or something. Oh! Can I get my indicator, please? This isn't annoying at all. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Mommy, I'm home. Nope, this is the barn. <laughs> ah! Ah! May no pumpkin survive. Now, mommy, I'm home. Oh, <laughs> Here's my little soldier. Another reason never to use that word ever again. I've heard all about your big adventure. Oh. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. <laughs> I could, yeah. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour. Hey, welcome back, Lucarin. I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That monster in his hands. Mommy doesn't look too thrilled about this story. She's like, are you the bitch that's going to steal my little boy? Oh, hell no. What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand the concept of hosting. Father was right all along. That's all good though. Well, we've been putting this off a Sorry. Ah, uh, oh, I missed a follow. Lee Baker 6 and come Tecti. Thank you for those follows. Here. This belongs to you. <laughs> Your grandfather asked Hopefully mine to can suffice. Once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. Speaking of large foreheads, though, Mama's pretty, uh... Holy shit! Grants. 
Thank you so much for that sub. I greatly appreciate it. Holy crap, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are the reincarnation of the luminary. <gasps> what? Do, 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 do. Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know it's all is good, that your grandfather said you had a special destiny. Thank you so much, Fran. I appreciate that. you had to do. He said that when you came thank you, of thank you, thank age, you. you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that Heliodor. necklace thingy to the king. Okay. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. It's all good, I'm a just... Crikey. Crikey. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. She has quite the jowls. Quite the jawline. <laughs> oh, love you back. <laughs> the reincarnation of the luminary. Hawkeye tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually. What's up, Mommy? Having trouble sleeping, are we? Well, it's no surprise after all the excitement today and your big news. Whenever I have trouble nodding off, I like to go for a little walk. The night air always does me a power of good... Plain old boring clothes. Uh, anything I can trash in my own home? Okay, those freeze. Oh my god, these freeze frames are bugging the shit out of me. No, I can't. I can't dig in those. Crap. This is a hell of a tower. Oh crap. There better be something of use in here. Geronimo! Alright, well, I guess I'm going for a walk. This is for PlayStation 4. Uh, where am I going? Sleep either, eh? <laughs> you remember this tree, don't you? Wicked Ponda! Thank you very much for that follow. I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. I just realized she has the same dialect as Jodie Whittaker. So, like, she sounds like Jodie Whittaker, who is playing the next Doctor, by the way. Woot woot. Doctor Who plug. Love it. <laughs> That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> yep, no fall damage for the hero. <laughs> nice legs. I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. I think I know where I'm going to end up at the end of this game. That's his star. Right there. <laughs> How can you be the luminary too? It'll probably stay that way. I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Why is the star pink? That's a very good question. 
goodbye, old friend. Aww. That was a lot of tears. Holy crap. Exhausted after his long day, Hawkeye finally falls into a restless slumber. And then the morning comes. Um, I typically play a lot of Mario Maker, but because this is a new game of my favorite game series, like I'm going to be playing this non-stop. I might play some Mario Maker tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. I changed. I look sexier. Well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. I only wish your grandfather were here to see you. <laughs> you won't forget him, will you? I'm sure we'll get the girl at the end. Fine, upstanding or be friend zone like the the all other Dragon Quest heroes. Could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. They're quite neatly trimmed, yeah. A little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your past. I think it's a legit don't good song, Captain Freckles. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? Oh, you know it. You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. I probably shouldn't admit this, but I was a much bigger Smash Mouth fan than I should have been in, in middle school and high school. Like, they were my favorite band for a period of time. Ah, uh, we got some important things. I heard all about it from your mother. She says there's an important journey you have to make. And you just a youngster. Well, before you head off, make sure you visit the shop. You know where it is? Of course, down this slope across the river. Once you've stocked up, head up to the village entrance to the north. We'll all be waiting to see you off. Ooh, quests! Give me quests! Deary me, deary me, what am, what am I going to do? Oh, if it isn't young Hawkeye. You came along at just the right time. I've got a favor to ask, you see? The other day I was playing with my lad, you know? Messing around as you do. Please rephrase that. Well, anyway, he got this flurry feather that he loves. And, well, fool that I am, I managed to let it blow away. Luckily, the wind only blew it as far as the roof of your shed. I'd go and get it myself, but I'm not too good with heights, I'm afraid. Check. We can check this one off the list. Got it. Anyway, I know you're a brave young fellow, so I was wondering if you'd mind clambering up there and getting it back for me. You'd be doing me a huge favor, I'm telling you. I knew you'd help me out. You always paid attention to what the priests said in church. You know that stuff about always being kind to others. You're a fine fellow. Make no mistake. Uh, this is not Dragon Ball, but it, it is by the same creator and same designer, uh, Kira Toriyama. So that's why they look identical. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing. Now there's no time to lose. My son's desperate to get his beloved feather back. Hurry on over to the shed. I'm sure you've climbed up. Blah, 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 you talk too much. Well, here you go. There you are, Hawkeye. And it looks like you've got the feather. Would you mind letting me have it? Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I can't wait to see the look on the boy's face. Oh, and before I forget, here's a little something in return. Oh, well, thank you. And that's not all. I've got a tip for you I hope you'll find useful. If you ever want to do someone a good turn, look for a purple speech bubble over their head. Yep, this is Quest. Quests have been a, a, a staple of these games since Dragon Quest IX. And they're fun. They're, they're basically what you do if you're stuck or like need to do some leveling up. Boom! Uh, you do some quests. I'm glad they show up on the map. That is actually quite awesome. Alright, uh, so... Let's get to the shop. Where in God's name did I get that? I don't care. I already, I already equipped you, fool. Uh, wait. What? I'm confused. I equipped the sword and it took off the, uh... Oh! Oh, it's a double sword. Okay. 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 This is interesting. This is something that's new to Dragon Quest. So... 
So this is a big-ass sword that you need two hands, and therefore you can't use a shield. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, th honestly, in that case, I'm probably going to go with some defense before we do that. Uh, let's equip... This? Alright, so just FYI, if anyone cares, this outfit right here, the bandana and the outfit here, that's actually the, the, the outfit of the hero in Dragon Quest VIII. So this is a reference to Dragon Quest VIII, which is kind of cool. So that means we can sell them. Right. Still better, of course. I'm okay with that. Do I really want to waste 70 gold on one defense? I don't think I want to, so we're going to look like 8 for a while. Alright, now let's leave. If you tell me to go back and talk to Gemma, I'm going to be pissed off. So this is it. My little soldier's really leaving. You might not be back for a while. I hope you said all your goodbyes. So, ready? Yes. Well, off you go then. Uh, RWBY fan. Thank you so much for that follow. Just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating thin and. <laughs> what do you mean? Excuse me? You to cobblestone. We never me? thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalkney, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Dick. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us. <laughs> if you catch my dream. You greedy little bastard. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. No, no, no I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, not at all, but I digress. Uh, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk <coughs> can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. Gladly. May it prove useful in finding your way. God forbid I can traverse a world. I can't even traverse this damn village without getting lost. <laughs> <gasps> Farsi! Do I get to take Sandy? I want the puppy. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. My nose is ready. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good, a good boy. boy. Who's a good boy? You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Bye. Bye. Wait. Damn it! I thought I got rid of her. Okay. <laughs> Here, take this with you. I, I made it for you. Hi, Gemma's charm. Keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Uh, I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't don't forget us, will you? Oh, I thought she was gonna say, uh, "Don't Take talk to care. any of the strange girls remember, in the city. They're little sluts." We'll be waiting for you. Oh. 
Horses are an incredibly convenient way to cover large amounts of ground in a very little time. But you'll have... Don't despair. Okay, whatever. Woo! Yo. Hi, Hawkeye, there you are. The mayor asked me to teach you a thing or two about horses. And maps, too, for that matter. Okay, let's see. Now, you see this bell? Well, if you give it a ring, a fine steed will gallop out of nowhere just like that. Good to remember if you if your feet are getting sore. Okay, so the horses in this game are basically like the saber cats and eights that you get from the very beginning of the game. That's cool. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Is there an overall map? Das World. This is the world we live in. It looks kind of small to me. Sparkly. Oh, cool! We can find sparkly spots. I like it. Okay. Let's keep the sparkly spots up, because I want treasure. Whee! Sparkle, sparkle. Where are you? Sparkle, sparkle. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Let's have a battle. Yo, Duba, what's up? How dare you? Nope. Do a little dance. Make a little love. I'm gonna try a uh, set camera. I'm kind of curious. Let's see what cat classic camera looks like. <gasps> a raven! A black raven! No, wait, why are you disappearing? I want to fight you, you jerk. I want to fight that raven, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Seriously, what was that? Man, no one wants to fight me. Okay, there we go. Your turn. Your turn to get some. Your turn to watch your kin die. Take it. Take it. Alright, okay, I kind of like classic camera just because I don't have to worry about anything and... Probably will help me pay more attention to the battle, anyways. Yeah! Screw my own people! It's not a parrot, it's. it's Drakey. Drakey and Slime Shady. Those are my companions on this mission. And I kinda wanna headbutt another one. Yeah, boom! <laughs> Oh, it's fucking hilarious. Hi. Don't run away this time. I want to fight you. I want to fight you. Thank you. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. No one's eating my horse but me. Stark Raven mad. If I remember the new translation, I think the next one is the Mad Raven. So Stark Raven, Mad Raven. Control. I wonder if I can control battle speed. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep it on classic camera. Um, such trash. Thank you for that follow. Oh no, somebody hit me by two. Whatever am I going to do?
I don't know why, but in a weird way, I wish I could see them die. Um, sparkle spots. I want my sparkle spot. Get away from me. Yay! Okay, so in addition to sparkle spots, there are treasure chests. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of exploring being done. Wait, I saw some. Wait. Is that it? Oh. Okay. I didn't see it. Favorite movie, go. Uh, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. That's my all-time favorite movie. Did I get surprised again? What the hell? Yo, Koozie, what's up, man? How dare you run away. Stop running! I need your experience, you fools. I'm going to I'm going to keep playing until Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, ho, hold on a second. <laughs> what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. I'm a blooming adventurer, thank it you. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Ugh. Well, fear not. Because Mad Men is fantastic. Uh, Breaking Bad is fantastic. Sherlock is up there for me. There. Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up oh, camp cool. and rest your weary boat. That's Just cool. Settle down for the night. Just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by Never saw Lost. I never saw a single episode of Lost. Oh, ye of little faith. That statue over there is chock full of holy How convenient. that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. Um, YouTuber. And that's not <coughs> You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Interesting. Does that mean I can save too? Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, have I seen Gravity Falls? I have not. Whenever you're out in the wilderness, it's like my old dad always said: keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Be prepared. That's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I I'm here all. I night. would totally be down. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Okay, so that was on the map. Cool. Well, this is a flat out like. This is a flat out cabin. Aw, oh, let me destroy that firewood. Oh, hi! That's cool. Okay, that's cool. Hey! What? No, I saw you. I saw you. What's going on? What's going on? That's, uh, that's the dude from the prologue. What's going on here? I feel like I need a battle. This is a very weird Mario Maker level, indeed. I feel like... Okay, so... I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet, but... That's why we explore. Come here, horsey. Come here. Hang about, you shouldn't go any further. The monsters up there are a proper nasty bunch. You'll be wanting to go north if you're heading for Heliodor. Mind how you go now. Alright, did I miss the sparkle spot? Nope. Okay. 
Straight north. <laughs> I still love this. <laughs> Boom. 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 But what happens... What happens when the bigger enemies come? Like... Does it... I would assume, like, you go into a battle. Like, you try and ram an enemy away, they're not taking it, and you go into a battle. Battle Scar, thank you for that follow. Boink! <gasps> You're new. Aw, oh, what a cute little bloody punk you are. You're so cute, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Still, wow. <laughs> okay. Oop. That, oh, I was about to say, he's a deep sleeper. I'm getting in a nice block. Okay, I gl I'm actually glad they brought that back from Dragon Quest IX. That was a good little, uh, good little addition they had. Awesomeness, how's it going? This seems important for some reason. Okay. Sparkle spots? Sparkle spots? Nothing. Yes, sparkle spots. I was on one. I'm having real issues reading this map. Alright, we're definitely getting into new uh, danger territory. These are some new monsters, and they're getting tougher. Favorite app? Uh, Twitch. I don't know. It's the one I watch the most, I guess. Or use the most. A flight bulb. Oh, fright bulb. Did I do that? If a character is attacked a lot or undergoes certain other trials and tribulations, they'll eventually enter an inebriated state known as being pepped up, which will boost their martial might for a while. But nothing lasts forever. After several turns have passed, they'll lose their glow and go back to being their normal selves. However, any character who any characters who are pepped up when a battle ends will still be so when the next one begins. Okay, cool. So that was I guess that was just a thing that happened. Cool. So I guess similar to a limit break, if you get beat up enough, they get pissed off. Ah, uh, Sonic Balin. Thank you for that follow. I see sparkles. 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 God, the foliage really gets in the way in this camera. I see treasure chest, I think. Nope, that's a rock. Oh, I see sparkles. Alright, cool. Oh! New monster. Bloop! Oh, that's a froggy. I will say this, in, in recent uh, Dragon Quest games, 10, 9, and even 8 to a certain extent, I've been a little disappointed about how many repeat monsters there have been, but I'm so far the repeat monsters in this one, I've been digging that they're, they've been monsters that you haven't seen for a while. Like, you haven't seen a, a smoke for a while, you haven't seen a toad, Todor, um, since I believe 3, since it came out, so... Favorite character in Parks and Recreations? Ron Swanson. Yeah. It's either Ron Swanson or, uh, or Rob Lowe. Which, for some reason, I'm brain farting on his character name. Skill points. I know how to do that. No, no, I, would, I didn't want to use it. I didn't want to use it. Oh, this is... Okay, so this is how you do skill points here. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm not doing the great swords because I want a shield. So, sword master scatting. Mm -hmm. Skill stats boost only in tiers was chosen. 
tap chance is pretty good. Let's, let's learn flame, flame Slash. Okay. Okay. I think I get this. I think I get this. This is where I want to go. That's my sparkle spot. And... Boop! And... Boop! Oh, that's so funny. Alright. To the castle! Actually, no. I want to rest. Can we do that fireplace thingy? Yes. Oh, I can run around the camp, too. Cool. And what does this guy do? Does he sell me shit? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, let's sell this... Oh, I can't sell that, damn it. Again, not as open world, but I'm still gonna get super lost. I know I am. I'm... When it comes to video game open world areas, I have such a horrible sense of direction. It's sad. It's sad what a horrible game sense of direction I have, because in real life, I have a great sense of direction. So I don't do shooters, because, like, I get lost so easily. Boop! Uh, sparkle, 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 sparkle! Have you come far? Well, you're safe now. Heliodor awaits. Once you're in the city, you can find a nice inn and rest up. Lucky old you. Can I play with the giant arrow thingy? Can I play with the catapult? Let me shoot shit. I wanna shoot shit. Welcome to Heliodor. This is the largest city all in Eldria, you know. You should head downtown for a look at the lavier side of life here, if you get the chance. That is a very large city indeed. Oh my god, we are so getting lost. Oh, no problem, Jess. Oh, you're writing some music? That's cool. Writing for yourself, or... Like a hobby or job? What kind of music you're writing? I haven't seen you around here before. Hmm? You're here to see the king, you say? Well, you won't find him around here. You'd better head to the castle. Go straight up this road, climb the steps, keep going, and Bob's your uncle. Just remember that they shut the gates as soon as the sun goes down. The king needs his sleep, you know. You're best off heading there bright and early if you want an audience. Well, I need to explore this massive place first. Well, there's the pub. I feel obligated to go there immediately. Eh, yeah, let's go there immediately. Oh, I was hoping for the pub sound. The doo 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 doo. <gasps> Quest. Wah, wah, Amelia's stuck on the roof. She won't come down. Wah. Somebody help me. Amelia's stuck on the roof. You have to help me. We'll do. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're so nice. Please get Amelia down. She's scared of heights, you know. Well, clearly not. This is for PS4, yes. It is available on Steam. For those who are curious, so PS4 and Steam. Got to this poor nipper, her friend Amelia has gone and got stuck on the roof. You can get her on the rooftops from a certain item shop, but I can't leave her ballin' to, to go and get it, can I? Call out a pickle. Okay, Vivo, thank you for that follow. A bandana. And boom. Hey, 
it down there. Whee! Where's the purple item? Oh, is this another quest? <gasps> quest, I love quests. I came all the way to Heliodor with just one goal in mind, to catch a glimpse of two of the greatest heroes in all of history, Sir Jasper and Sir Hendrik. The only problem is that they won't let me into the castle. Can you believe it? Well, if I'm not going to get to meet them in person, I suppose I'll have to bide my time by reading up on them instead. You, you know, if you wanted to earn my eternal gratitude, you could help find me a book about the exploits of those two fabulous knights. Roger Wilco. Thank you so much. I know there's a book about my two favorite knights just sitting on a bookshelf somewhere. I've taken a look around the west of the city, so maybe you could head east. If you see any bookshelves with red books in them, take a closer look. Apparently, they're the ones worth reading. If you do manage to find a book about Jasper and Hendrick, make sure you come back and tell me about it, won't you? Good luck. Oh, that sucks. I've been, I've been thinking about getting a new guitar lately and picking it up again. I haven't touched, I haven't touched my guitar in months. That's going to be my rule for the entire game, is any pumpkin is getting stepped on. Every single one of them. Okay. In here. Oh, hello. Let's go find that girl. <laughs> I wish. I'm absolutely convinced there's a treasure down this chimney, but I can't stand dark places, so I'm too scared to go down and have a look. Oh, allow me. So we're not climbing down wells in this game, we're climbing down chimneys. Oh, cool. Okay. So I can enter those doors, but I have to unlock them first. Hi, guy! I wish you would say something. I'm confused about who and what you are. That wasn't my fault. <gasps> Hi, Bobby! Hello, Bobby! Oh, you're so cute! You're so cute! Oh my god, you're so cute! Arrgh. Assume you haven't heard Enemy's new album. No. Uh, Twinkstar Turtle! Thank you very much for that follow. Yes. What's up, Dills Pickle? Why would they put, like, the largest area in the game in, like, the second town you go to? <laughs> I can't- I can't imagine I'm the only one who could- who's really, really lost. Oh, there's the- okay, there's the kitty cat. Okay, okay, so... Nope. I figured it was a kitty cat. They want to put a little girl on top of a roof. So how do I get to her? Aha! Oh, Eminem! No! <laughs> Sorry, no, I have not heard Eminem's album. Not a, not a big... I'm not the biggest rap fan. Are you having fun too? I'm having fun! I feel like I've been here. <gasps> Pumpkins! The enemy! Okay, now we can rescue Kitty Cat. Oh, I heard it. <gasps> Hi, Kitty. Aww. 
You did it. You got Emily off the roof. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here, take this. I don't want kitty litter, you jerk. Not a good reward. Kitty litter? So many more buildings to possibly ransack. The cheek! That's private! Okay, I think I'm getting the color coding down, finally. To help under- to help me understand what doors I can and cannot get up. Or open. Nice. Noise. Hmm. Alright, I need to go to the downtown area. Because somebody mentioned, or that dude in the front gate mentioned it. Halt! You can't go through here. And it's far too rough for law abiding folks. I strongly advise you head elsewhere. So I can't go to downtown. Aww. Let's continue the story. No more, no more screwing around. I'm not a vodka guy. Vodka and I don't really get along. If you ask me who I want most and wanted to be in the world, I would have to say Sir Hendrick. But then every man in the kingdom would say the same thing. He's basically an all-around legend. They say that when the world is in trouble, a true hero will appear. They must be talking about him. No, they're talking about me, foo. Well, those are my top two that I recommend, Jess. And I think they're pretty good choices for people who don't really enjoy wine. Hinedo is the most powerful kingdom in the world, you know. It has been ever since the fall of Dundrazil. So, Dundrazil is done and done, you're saying? Aha! That was a nice find. You guys have nothing important to say, right? Yep. <laughs> that was far from important. This young thief broke into the castle treasury in search of loot. Now he's banged up in the dungeons. I think I know who they're talking about. I think we're about to meet one of our main characters. It's such a waste. He had his whole life ahead of him, and he just went and chucked it all away. Oh, that's pretty. Shiny. Well, look at this. I wonder how much it's worth. If I sold it, I bet I'd never have to work again. You see this two-headed eagle? It's the symbol of Heliodor. It's on the flag as well. Okay, finally. Only took, what, half an hour, 45 minutes to make some actual progress? Halt! Not so fast. State your business. <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. You're gonna regret that. Oh, yeah. oh. What's that? You wanna show that pendant to the king, you say? Oh. Oh. Do you mind waiting here a minute? So sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. You bet you jerks. Cool, Spider-Man. Very majestic music. I'm digging this one. His Majesty is waiting for you. To get to the throne room, head up these stairs and go straight on. No. We have some more pillaging to do. Meh. Or not. What, 
What's going on here? We all know those of the most blue-blooded stock, and yet we have been told that we must wait for an audience with the king. We have traveled for days for an audience with the king of Heliodor, and now we are told he has a more important guest, the impertinence. Who could it be? It can surely only be another king. Who else would outrank one such as I? Yo! GCC, what's up? Thank you for that raid. How's it going, Clooney? Snow Bear! How's it going, JCC? How, how, was, how was your stream? Mario Maker, I assume? <laughs> Airdrian Geographic. Of the many nations, both large and small, that make up Airdria, there are five, the so-called Great Five, that stand above all others in the eyes of the world. Ancient and honorable, I read that. And the stony Heriodor, uh, Galopolis, is its noble desert knights. Sniphelm, with its snow-capped towers. And last but not least, Zwardrust. Carpeted in flowers. These five nations guide the world, meeting every few years at the great conference known as the Colloquy of Kings in order to steer the course of Airdrian affairs in a direction agreeable to all. That must have been the uh, little meeting we saw in the beginning. Okay. That was a good piece of information to learn. But I like. I... Hands off, Urchin! Those are gifts for the king! You so much as touch them, and you'll be sorry. Bring it on, old man. No, bring it on. I'll fight you. I will fight you. Um, I still need to find that one book. Oh, another hat. That could be useful. Mm, I don't care about MP. Aw, oh, now I'm no longer... Oh, well. Function over fashion. That's always been my thing. Boom! Boom! That's what I want. I just want to wreck shit. Yeah, it's it's still not even out in Japan. Oh, can I see the red star? The red star in the sky is known as Erdwin's Lantern, you know. Scholars have long wondered how it got that name, but I'm afraid it has remained a mystery. Okay. In the meantime, grab a drink, get comfortable, and enjoy. Enough. I'm horrible at Fortnite. It's for PS4 and Steam. The jewel of Dundrasil. Dundrasil, that's how you say it. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. Ruler of Heliodor. How long have I waited for this day? I don't now, know. You have to tell me. Finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. I take it that you also bear the mark? I don't. He does. The mark of light. Then there is no doubt. You are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The I did watch the Dragon Warrior 3 run at, at SGDQ. I was there, actually. I, I was there for it. Um, and it was amazing. He broke the shit out of that game. And it was a pleasure to watch. 
Baxter, it was it was amazing. Oh yeah, he's done. Toriyama's done the art for every single Dragon Quest game from start to to now. Huzzah! Tell me, O oh Luminary, where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. Cobblestone. I see. Cobblestone, you say. Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. Okay, so A that's Jasper. Provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Hey, be nice. Be nice. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. This is not going to end well. Yes, my liege. This is not going to end well. Oh, I can't wait to find the puff puff scene. A cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. Cursed. <laughs> This cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Know this. The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. This took a turn. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. Then don't. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Did you really think you could fool one as wise as His Majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. I have a sword of my own. Back off. See Yes, slimes. <laughs> Not a Dragon Quest game goes by where you don't get arrested. It's a prison sim. Yeah, that's right. You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. Just say three days, dude. By then, Jasper will have returned from his investigation. If I were you, Dark Spawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. That's racist. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've heard it, though. Uh, yes, re reward me for being a hero in chains. Hey, cut it out! Get a grip! Make it a racket isn't going to help you any. Oh, I know what that's for. I already took my bathroom break, though. I'm good. Sheesh, keep it down, will you? There goes the neighborhood. Will you keep it down in there? Most folks they throw in here have the decency to wait a while before going stir crazy. What are you in for, anyhow? You don't get free bed and board down here without having done something pretty bad. His dialect is interesting. Wait, did you say the luminary? You're serious. 
You're telling me the luminary has just shown up in the cell next to mine. Is this guy like... This is crazy. Is this guy from the Bronx or something? What's with this dialect? One plate of delicious gruel for a gentleman in the dungeon suite. Mm. Come and get it. Yes. Scandinavian? Really? You have a good ear. <laughs> it took him how long to do that? How long has he been in this prison and he just did that? Please, sir, I want some more. The luminary. You're serious? Nod. Nod. Yes. So it's all happening just like the seer said it would. We better get out of here. I can't say I know what a Scandinavian accent sounds like. <laughs> yeah, thank you for those bits, man. kill him but he won't be waking up anytime soon yeah he sounds like a british actor trying to do like a an italian brooklyn accent to me which is why it's like kind of muddled but if it's something specific then great job i just can't pinpoint it again i'm not an expert at dialects things are getting pretty hairy up ahead you'd better take this Oh, and I found this in a corner over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? Me? I got this little beauty back. So now I'm pretty much unstoppable. Unstoppable. We better get out of here before any more of our friends <laughs> come knocking. <laughs> Thank Follow you for the biddies. Okay? JFIG. Welcome back. Hi. Right. Wait, how many times do I have to talk to this guy? Did I miss my opportunity to go exploring? I spend ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it? Heck of a coincidence. Crap, I think I missed my opportunity to go exploring. I guess I really was meant to help you out. Just like the sea said. Hey, I have a... Yes, my faux British is 100% faux. It's perfect. Perfectly faux. Anyway, there'll be time to talk about all that later. In you go. No, oh, I want to explore. I should have explored. I'm an idiot. Okay, no. Explore. I want to explore. Okay. I don't think I can get into any of these. Yep, didn't think so. Give it. Mental note though, when we get the final key or the the ultimate key, we gotta get back here, raid some treasures. You sure you we don't want to jump down the poop chute? Let's let's jump down the poop chute. I had pots. Do you have pots? Okay. Down the hole we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> the sewers, huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I, I got your back.
Well, it's a good thing we read a book on these. Right. Uh-oh. Good old-fashioned exploring. Oh, I can't fast run. Light these? That'd be cool if I could light these. There they are. You lot, over here. Oh yeah, that that stairs noise has been for the entire series. The lone exception, the lone exception being in the American version of Dragon Quest VIII, they got rid of the the attack sounds from both uh, your characters and enemies. They got rid of the spell sound and they got rid of the stairs. But outside of that, um, yeah, it's been the entire series. He does look like a shovel knight. <laughs> we better make ourselves scarce. We're being chased! Go! 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 Screw you, dude! Every man for themselves! I probably don't want to go this way. Or did I? I want to talk to people. I just want to talk to people. It's my favorite series of all time. Yo, Boo Spaghetti, what's up? <laughs> I I pulled uh, I, I pulled some favors. Um, I I did things I'm not too proud of. Um things my parents would be ashamed about. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Yes! I want a battle! I'll get caught every single time if it means a battle. Do you listen to me yet? No. Yes, I would do it all over again. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad whenever there's like a situation where you have to avoid guards. I always get caught. But in this case, I don't care because I want the I want the battles. I want the experience. <coughs> also, I kind of want to turn around because I feel like there's someone else the other direction than what I went. How's it going, Poo Spaghetti? I haven't seen you in a while. Those were the people that were chasing us, and yeah, there's a, there's a bigger boy there. Got the Shovel Knight. Jap364. I hope that doesn't mean... Yeah, anyways. Thank you for that follow! Oh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I should have been paying attention. Right. Are you East Coast? Who else wants some? A Minecraft joke? Wait. Oh, man. Hey, I could totally, like, level up here. <laughs> Not that I want to, because that battle took a long time. You boys assessed those situations very well. Please continue to do so. Another one? 
one bite. Ah, I shouldn't have cut him off. Another one bites the dust. Okay, so if I. I don't mind beating up on all the guards that I encounter in the future, but I'm not going to turn around anymore and let the uh, the big boys catch me. Yep. A lot of lot of similar sound effects. Huh. Easy. Uh, Ridonculus. MG, thank you very much for that follow. True story. I made a drinking game once called Ridonculus. Oh, good old college. Guys don't give up, do they? It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous freaking game. Seriously? Cliche bridge collapse scene. No, it was a it was a card game similar to bullshit, where you either played a correct card or you lied about a card, and I called it redonkulous. People called redonkulous on you. You okay? Looks like we shook the guards at least. Hey, what's a good RPG story without these these uh like a way out. <laughs> these conveniences? A about to Spider Man, be nice. Yay! Finally get the save. Okay, I was worried about that. What this game? Get out of here. Oh, it's getting dark and spooky. Oh, hello. Wait, there's something there. I can't wait to find out, Pooh Spaghetti. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the puff puff scene. Oh, hello, big boy. If we can fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. I dig the boss thing. I don't want to run. No, I want to fight it. I want to fight it. This is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> but seriously, I want to fight it. Spending a splash. I think we gave it the slip. Huh? You were saying? Uh, I spoke too soon. I'm kind of curious what happens if I get caught. Is that when I fight it? Oh. Oh. Do I have to fight it? <laughs> I 
That was cruelly clawed. Alright, one more attack against this guy. Oh. This might help, it might not. Eh. I have a feeling we're not supposed to fight him yet. Oh! This is a bad idea. Let's get the fuck out of here. Can we run? Can we run? Can we run? Can we run? Okay. Okay, we'll follow the rules. We'll run away. So I can't even get into a battle either. Yeesh. <gasps> Metal slimes. Now this game's just teasing me. That's a good question. <laughs> Accuracy isn't their thing, I guess. Has it gone? Whew. That was way too close for comfort. What's up, Purple Mario? What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. I don't get to outrun that thing either. Or I wanted to outrun the fire, I mean. <laughs> we made it. Just. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Huh? Huh? There he is. That's racist. Ah, me and my big mouth. Move now. I sir. I'm really digging this game so far. Looks like our luck finally ran out. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> there they are. We've got them now. Yeah, that's profiling luminaries. Hmm. No way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. <laughs> Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. I don't have much choice. I believe. I believe. Come on. Let's not do anything stupid now. Uh, it's Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid time. You can trust me. I've shown you my hair. So dramatic. Little dramatic there. <laughs> oh, my green screen's all borked. That whole thing was the intro? Holy crap! That was a long ass intro. And now we get to enjoy this glorious prologue video. 
Man, that was a long intro. Holy shit. Tokyo Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra. Okay. Small gripe. Small gripe. Dragon Quest VIII on PlayStation 2 had a fully orchestral soundtrack, and that was because in, in uh, Japan, they had already recorded and released the soundtrack fully orchestral. Okay, these freeze frames are driving me insane again. Um... And that was in 2005 on the PS2. So, I'm pretty sure they've already recorded and released the Eleven soundtrack orchestrally. So, my gripe is, where the hell is my fully orchestrated soundtrack in 2018 on PlayStation 4? Huh? This is sexy. This is sexy. Yes, shakes fist angrily. Oh, the or the orchestral soundtrack of Dragon Quest VIII uh, made that game feel like so much more special. Like it was the first one to do voice acting um, for the U.S. version. And then they revamped the menu system. They gave an orchestral sort. Uh... They gave it an orchestral soundtrack. Uh, just everything about that game was special. By the mixtape. <laughs> uh, welcome. That was just a prologue, everybody. How many hours later? Three hours later. <laughs> 